LF System, Hungry for Love on BBC Radio Berkshire. Now, if you love your charity shop shopping, here is something really, really cool that's uh, coming to Reading in a couple of weeks' time. The UK's first ever multi-charity shop is going to be popping up in the Oracle in Reading. That is basically a load of fab charity shops all under one roof, along with DJs and refreshments. It sounds super cool. Uh, Wayne Hemingway and Maria Chenoweth are co-founders of Charity Supermarket and have been telling me more. It's bringing together all those charities from the high street that we know and love, that, that especially new generations are, are shopping in all of the time. It fits the times of circular economy, of, of and, and, and importantly, it, every single pound that, that you spend in there goes to an amazing cause. And, and, and on top of that, all the clothing in there is blooming fantastic. It sounds super cool and, and um, you're going to be popping up in the Oracle in Reading. That's from the 24th of March. You're going to be there for six weeks. Um, what can people expect if they head along to the Oracle, to the charity supermarket? Well, a little exclusive for you here. We're actually going to open on the evening of the 23rd. And that, and that, is, so that is for anybody who wants to bring a bag of really good donations. So that's good clothing. Uh, they, can come, they can come on the evening. of if they, if, they, if they go on to Charity Super MKT, so that's how it's spelled, charitysupermkt.com, and sign up to the newsletter or go on to the socials, they can find out about that, that, uh, that, that kind of pre-opening on the 23rd. But you've got, you only get no donations, no entry. Okay. Um, so that's like a donate. <laughs> donation party with food and drink and everything and and then, and and then they'll and on that evening they'll experience what it will be like and and that is you know we're working with lots of local djs and and regional djs and if 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 you are a dj and you're cool and um, and, and th- then you should contact us again via the website or via socials. And, w- and we've got like w- all the kind of characteristics of what we need from a DJ. There's decks there and everything. We love vinyl DJs if, uh, if you know, f- for those for those to come forward. And, and what you'll what you'll see when when you go in there is ten to twelve charities all doing their own thing, all 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 with different kinds of stock. You know, including Maria's fantastic company Trade, uh, who I think who I think will be trading in Reading for the first time, won't you, Maria? I think. Yeah, our first step into Reading. Very exciting. Yeah. It's not company; it's a charity trade. Yeah, well, go on then. Sorry, <laughs> your chat. Um, and 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 you'll see lots of people shopping, having fun, and um, and, and like we like we keep saying, you know, every pound that you spend is a good pound. It goes to something that that we all need, whether it's whether it's uh, end of life care, whether it's looking after aging, whether it's looking after kids or animals, and all, all those things that that chari- all those wonderful things that charities do. Yeah, we're, we're converting fashion into good causes, and we're converting fashion into hours, extra hours of nursing care. Um, yeah, we're going this time. We're going for the first time. We're also going to be having um, pet charities and animal charities at Reading, which is really exciting. Reading charities as well. Charities specific to Reading, which will go back to your community and and helping people within it. Fabulous. Uh, Maria, am I right in thinking that you're still after volunteers to help make this all happen? Yes, we've got, again, a volunteer page on our um, website. So what you do is you go onto the website, you can see which charities are requesting volunteers and you then click on the link and apply directly with the charities. And also we're looking for staff. So if you want a paid stint at Charity Supermarket with a charity, also go to the website and then there's um, methods of applying for the post through the specific charities. It's a perfect way for, you know, you're a student town. It's a perfect way for students to, number one, do what they love to do and and, and look and browse through secondhand affordable clothing, uh, but also maybe earn a few pennies as well or or volunteer and, and get that on your CV. Yeah, absolutely. And and Wayne, I know you've already mentioned the many things that are fantastic about um, charity fashion, but just talk us through what you do think is is brilliant about shopping in this way. Well, I think for me, the the first never know what you're going to find and that thrill of the chase Mm. uh, is exciting because you, you know, I... I've always been a bit obsessed about charity shops because you know you find things that that you would that you would have never found just by shop doing high street shopping. Occasionally, you come across, you know, when when charity supermarket opened in Brent Cross on the first day or the second day, I found two nineteen one nineteen sixties one nineteen seventies M and S summer shirt 
summer shirts. Not that I needed any more 1960s and 1970s <laughs> summer shirts. I've got quite a lot. But one of them was absolutely superb, this brown and cream. It was just so good. Uh, and and so and that's kept me... Ha I'm still buzzing about it all these weeks <laughs> later. So it's the, it's the thrill of the chase. Plus, you know, very importantly, you know, you know it's sometimes... It, it, you know, we, we have to be careful about how we spend our money from a, from a thrifty point, from a you know cost of living point of view, and and you know that this is going to be this is this is thrift shopping as well, so that's important. And then from a provenance point of view, at least you know that that you know this this is not just making something for making something sake. You're keeping something going. In, in, in the circular economy is so important. It's so important in terms of l looking after this precious planet. And, and oh gosh, I love I love that feeling, like you say, that little buzz when you find find an absolute gem. Mm. But of course, there's of, there's often some sort of wading to do to get to that gem. Um, Maria, any tips um, for charity shop shopping, especially for the novices among us? Well, um, I've got a couple of tips, which is um, if you want to not spend lots of time trying clothes on, or make sure that you know something is worth trying on then um, I like to do the neck test. Okay. So, um, for some reason, if you put something around your neck and it goes around very comfortably, it's going to go around your waist. It's bonkers. I don't know why it works. My so, mum taught me that one as well, and I still don't get it. Wait, you don't, no, Im you I don't, don't imagine either, your neck to be this... But it works. Yeah. So, so hang on, so so what, what am I putting around my neck? How, how is this working? <laughs> so, right, You've got your pair of trousers that you think they look really cool and yeah. you don't know if they're going to fit and you only want to take X amount of stuff into the changing room. So you hold up the waistband whilst it's buttoned up, yeah? Yeah. And then you wrap it round your neck. If the waistband goes round your neck comfortably, it's going to comfortably go round your waistline. So I, I, and you've got to think about that because you've got it buttoned up, remember. So actually it's half, your neck is half the, ta half the width it's of your waist. It's bonkers. That, I that's didn't what like that the, work. Anyway, you know, that, that's what the theory is. So that saves a lot of time. So when yeah. I go out secondhand shopping, I'm always doing the neck test. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I'm going to be getting some weird looks next time I'm down the shops, but I'm going to give that oh, a go. I love that getting a weird look look down the shops <laughs> and then also also this time because you know exactly what we're saying the time spent in charities people were spending like half a day in charity supermarket so this time we're going to be providing refreshments Lovely. um and, and a seating area so that you can relax in between I mean, I'm definitely going to be trying out that top tip uh, next time I go shopping. I don't know about you. Um, if you want to find out more about Charity Supermarket and uh, all the details about it coming to Reading, uh, volunteering, etc., uh, just head to www.charitysupermarket. That's all one word, but supermarket is spelled S-U-P-E-R-M-K-T dot com. You see tonight, it could go either.